Hello and welcome to a new tutorial from Logo Stats. In this tutorial, I will show you how to design beautiful 3D logo with new technique and easy steps. So let's start. First, select the rectangle tool or click M from keyboard. Hold, Alt and Shift and design square like that. Make sure to choose a black stroke. Select our shape and go to Object, Path and split into Grid. Go to Columns and choose 10. Click OK. Choose the direct selection tool and hold shift and make selection like that. Click delete from keyboard one time. Select all this line and click Ctrl G from keyboard to group it. Hold Alt and duplicate it. Right click, transform and rotate. Choose 120 and click OK. Hold Alt again and duplicate it like that. Right click and transform and reflect. Choose vertical and click OK. Now select everything. and click horizontal align center and vertical align center now go to window and choose pathfinder and click divide now Choose stroke, any color you want. And choose color for fill. Like that. Now choose direct, direct selection tool. And make selection like that and the whole shift. Go to Pathfinder and click Unit. Do the, the same thing with the right one, right side, like that. And click Unit again. Now the left side, do the same thing. Click unit. Always hold shift to make multiple selections.
Now let's delete these parts. Just by clicking delete from keyboard. That's it, we finished our shape or our logo. Let's make some colorations. Delete the fill. Make stroke thicker. Like that. Choose grey color. Duplicate it by click Alt. Let's choose this gradient or you can choose any gradient you want. Make a white stroke like this. Make sure to go Make sure to go to stroke and choose round join, like that. Duplicate it again by holding ALT. Choose rounded rectangle tool. Go to the middle of our logo and hold an ALT and SHIFT and design rect square like that. Send it to back. Make it a little bit bigger. Duplicate it again. Go to Object, Expand, click OK. Choose Magic Wand Tool and select the grey. Go to Pathfinder and click Unit. Let's choose this gradient. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And see you next time.